Have you ever gotten that problem? Well, if you're a designer, you must have had that problem. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys. Hey guys, we are now on the computer and today I will be showing you how to optimize your images for any social media or any other purposes. So basically, um, we will be Chucky needing Pete. one program to do that and it's completely virus free. There's not going to be any virus for those that are um, really picky about this online downloading stuff. So whatever. So you go on pnggauntlet.com and the link is going to be in the description down below. And then you do download for Windows. And if you have Mac, well, there's even a link for Mac. I think. So, um, yeah, um, you download that. Once you're done downloading that, you'll have a little program. It's pretty, it, it's just a little small file. So you'll have this pop up window. It's, it's pretty basic and it's not really hard to actually um, do anything here. So basically it explains with the buttons. So what you wanna do is add images. Suppose that I want to do this file. It's 20 megabytes here. So I just do open and then you're gonna see the progress once it's done. The new size is gonna be there. This is the original size and this is the percentage that uh, this, this size occupies on this size. So you're basically gonna see how much it helps. So for this thing, this is just a overlay for a charity stream. So I'm just, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna do optimize and then you have to wait. Before you do anything, you have to do uh, either two things. You can redirect the, the new rendered file to somewhere else which I don't really do. I usually just do overwrite original files. It's gonna take the original file, with it, which is like 20 megabytes and put it to 0.5 megabytes, which is the best for me. So I just click on optimize and wait until it's done. It can take a few minutes. So I'll be back once uh, I'm done and yeah. All right guys, so the optimizing is done right there. The progress it, it took a few minutes so you can see total in a one minute 42 here at the bottom so basically look the original file was 20 megabytes or 19 point something megabytes and this one is less than one megabyte which is insane look a zero percent of the original file so this program really helps so now um if i go in here i go in at the bottom 62.9 instead of the 19 megabytes so it really helps the quality is the same so yeah um that's how to compress um png files without losing any quality hope you guys enjoyed and i answered your questions uh if you guys have any other questions about stuff like that i will be sure to make a video about that and until next time i've been kumar mick and i'm out peace